सो हाई एवरी वन माई नेम शिवम बोहरा आई एम अ थर्ड ईयर कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम देहरादून आई लव सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम एंड आई ऑल्सो लव टू टीच वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लर्न कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग विद कोड शेयर सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कंपेटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग एंड वॉन्ट टू लर्न इन मास्टर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिदम्स देन दिस इज अ वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू हेयर वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लम एक्सप्लेनेशन conceptual videos on various programming paradigms and also conduct live problem solving sessions so before we actually get started here's a reminder for you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already yet so welcome to this course in which we are going to solve some extremely basic problems for absolute beginners now the prerequisite for this particular course is the fundamentals of programming and some basic knowledge of c++ so if you want to learn that then we do have a separate course on it the link is given in the description so let's get started so now we have this problem called add two numbers right as the name says it's a very easy problem in which we just have to add two numbers we simply have to print the sum so let's see the problem statement here it says that shivam is the youngest programmer in the world now this is a different shivam and not me he is just 12 years old he is learning programming and he is writing his first program program is very simple given two integers a and b write a program to add these two numbers right so it's a very simple program in which we simply have to add two numbers right now here comes the tricky part the first line contains a single integer t or a and single integer t right so t over here is the total number of test cases then follow t lines each line contains two integer a and b right now we'll understand what this line actually means in a minute and for each test case add a and b and simply display it on the new line right so we simply have to display the sum of a and b right so all these constraints t a and b they could be as big as 1000 or 10 to the power 4 so we can use simple int for them now this is the input here the first line contains a single integer which is t this line means that that on the next three lines we will have a pair of numbers right for the next three lines we will have a pair of numbers for each line right so this is the first pair that we have this is the second pair and this is the third pair for the first pair 1 and 2 the sum is 1 plus 2 which is 3 so the first answer or the first output is 3 on the next line we have the second output 300 which is just 100 plus 200 and on the next line we have 50 which is nothing but 10 plus 40 right so we simply have to print the sum of these pairs right so, so let's write the code for this now whenever we have test cases we need to use a separate loop for that right so over here we have three test cases so we will we'll use a loop which runs three times right so the for, for the first time this loop will run we will simply print 3 the second time this loop will run we will simply print 300 and the third time this loop will run we will simply print 50 right so let's see how it actually works so firstly i'll create a variable t to store the number of test cases then uh i'll use a loop so let let me use i over here so i starts from 1 and i goes till t and i plus plus then i will simply write or i i, I then i have to store two numbers here we can see that after this 3 which is the number of test cases i have to store two numbers 1 and 2 so i'll make two variables uh let me name them a and b so then i'll store the two numbers inside these two variables and then i'll simply print the sum right another interesting thing over here is that we have to print the output on new lines right so after this 3 we have to print the other 300 on the next line so so if i run this program this way let me give a custom input let's say we have two inputs this is the first input that we have 1 and 2 and this is the second input that we have 3 and 4 so if i run this program then what will happen is 
it would give us the same it would give us the right answer but it would not separate them by a single space they would be concatenated or they would be on the same line like over here we can see that this is the first test case that we have one and two and the sum of one and two is three and the sum of three and four is seven so they are supposed to be on two different lines but our program is printing them on same line hence i have to write or i have to add slash n over here right after this c out so what this would do is this would simply separate them up so now we'll get three on one line and seven on the other line right so let's just submit the code and let's see whether we will get the correct answer or not since uh, the maximum value of t could be 1000 and the maximum value of a and b could be as big as 10 10000 so we can use simple int for them right now here we can see that we got the correct answer now this is the last problem that we have for this particular course the problem's name is chef and operators now this problem is very similar to the one that we have solved just now so you may first try this problem on your own the problems link is in the description so the problem statement is irrelevant till here so it says that given two numerical values a and b you need to help chef in finding the relationship between them that is first one is greater than second or first one is less than second or first and second one are equal right so we'll see what this actually means so over here input the first line of the input contains a single integer t which denotes the number of test cases each of the t lines contains two integers a and b right so we have some test cases and for each of the test cases we have two integers a and b right and the output is simply either less than symbol greater than symbol or equals to symbol depending upon the values of a and b so over here this t could be up to 10 to the power 4 so we can use a simple int to store this t but a and b are extremely large so we have to store long long int to store a as well as b now here we can see that the first line contains a single integer t integer 3 which is the number of test cases so we have three test cases over here right these are the three test cases so this is the first test case 10 and 20 since 10 is smaller than 20 since 10 is smaller than 20 so we have to write less than symbol right so the first output is less than right because this is the symbol which is going to be fit over here right and for 20 and 10 as 20 is greater than 10 so we have to write or we or the output would be greater than symbol right as 10 and 10 are equal so we have to write equals to symbol so let's write the code for this so firstly i'll create a variable t to store the number of test cases so i'll write int t c in t then i'll use a loop to cover all the test cases so loop starts from one and loop goes till t right then i have to input two numbers a and b since these two numbers they can be extremely large so i have to write long long int long long int to store them both right and then we have to input the numbers so after this we simply have to check the relation between them so firstly i'll write if a is less than b so if this condition is true then i'll simply print less than symbol right after this i'll write else if a is greater than b right so i'll write c out less than symbol or greater than symbol right else if this is not true if if a is less than b is this condition is not true then i'll check if a is greater than b if these two are not true not true then they are definitely going to be equal right so so for the last condition we need not to even check this one so we can simply write c out equals to right 
so these are the three conditions that we have but the only issue over here is that we also have to separate them by a single line so we have to write slash n slash n over here right so now what this will do is that this will separate the symbols by a single line right so let's give give some custom input so let's say these are the input two one two two right so for the first case we should get a less than symbol and for the second case we should get a equals an equals to symbol right so we can see that we are getting a less than symbol and an equals to symbol over here right so let's just submit the code since we are writing only one statement so i have skipped the skipped the braces part right so let's see we will get will we get the correct answer or not so here we can see that we got the correct answer 